So 1.4 is geometric series on pages 46 to 57 in your textbook. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of arithmetic and geometric, including finite and infinite sequences and series. And our lesson objectives today, number one, to be able to identify a geometric series. Number two, to be able to develop the geometric series formula. And number three, to be able to apply the geometric series formula to a real world problem. So a geometric series is a list of numbers separated by adding or subtracting signs in which each term is found by multiplying the previous term by the same number, and that's called the common ratio. So it's basically the same thing as a geometric sequence, but now we're adding and subtracting these terms together. Note, it is possible for a geometric series to alternate between adding and subtracting signs between terms. So it could be something like two minus four plus eight minus 16, and this would occur when your common ratio is a negative number. So if we kept on multiplying by negative two, the sign would keep on changing. The way to develop this formula may seem a little random, but it works. And we're gonna follow the same process with a short series to show that it works and then apply that process to the general series. So here's our original series that we're gonna be working with. And this is a series of uh, four terms. So the sum of the first four terms is one, three, nine, and 27. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this equation by the common ratio. We're gonna multiply both sides by the common ratio. So the common ratio here is three because we keep on multiplying by three to get each next term. So we get three S four equals three plus nine plus 27 plus 81. Now the next thing we're gonna do is subtract the original equation. So this one right here from the new equation. So I'm just gonna rewrite that. So we get three S four equals three plus nine, plus 27, plus 81. And I'm gonna subtract the original equation, S4. And that's one plus three, plus nine, plus 27. So hopefully you see something happening here, is that if I take this three and I subtract three, I end up with zero. If I take nine, I subtract nine, I end up with zero. If I take 27, I subtract 27, I end up with zero. And I take 81, I subtract one. So I get 81 minus one. And here I get two S4, because I had three S4s minus S4. So I isolate S4 by dividing and then I simplify. So I've got 80 over here and I've got two S4, which means that S4 is equal to 40. Now that we can double check that pretty easily. We got one and nine, that's 10. Three and 27 is 30, so totally that is 40. And that is one way to find the sum of these four terms. Now the reason we're doing it that way is because we don't always just have four terms. We may end up with like 20 terms or 40 terms or 85 terms. So we're gonna use this process in order to find a general formula for us. So now we're gonna develop our general formula. So we've got our series here. We've got our first term T1 and then we keep on multiplying by R all the way up to T1 times R to the N minus one. So we're gonna follow the same steps. We're gonna multiply the equation by the common ratio and we're gonna multiply both sides of the equation because that keeps it balanced. So we multiply this uh, SN by R and then we multiply each term by R. So they just keep on getting one more exponent. And now this last one is T1 R to the N minus one times R. Well, if you remember exponent rules, when we have the same base, we just add exponents. So this whole thing becomes T1 times just r to the n, because negative one plus one is zero. So this last term here is actually t1 r to the n. Okay, our next step, we're gonna subtract our original equation up here from this new equation. So let's rewrite the new equation. We got r times sn equals t1 r plus t1 r squared plus t1 r cubed plus dot, 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 all the way to t1 r n. And then we're gonna subtract from that the original, which was T1 plus T1R plus T1R squared plus T1R cubed plus dot, 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 all the way to the T1R to the N minus one. Now, when we subtract these, all these, a lot of these terms cancel off. T1R minus T1R cancels off. T1R squared and T1R squared cancel off. T1R cubed and T1R cubed cancel off. If this last term on the top line is T1RN, then the term before it was T1R to the N minus one. 
So this term is also gone. So what we end up with is Rsn minus Sn. And over here we have T1 R to the N minus T1. Now we want to just solve for this Sn. We want to find out what the sum is. So we're going to take out a greatest common factor of Sn. And that means we're left with R minus 1. And over here, we're going to take out a greatest common factor of T1, and we're left with R to the N minus 1. And then to solve for Sn, we just divide by R minus 1. So we've got T1, R to the N minus 1 on the top, and we divide that by R minus 1. And here is our general formula. You want to write it down because we're going to be using it in a couple examples. So here's our first example. It says find the sum of the first eight terms of the following geometric series. So we've got 5 plus 15 plus 45 plus dot 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 dot. And then we're going to add up together the first eight terms. So we're going to use our new formula. Our Sn formula here is T1 times R to the N minus 1 all over R minus 1. Our T1 is 5. That's our first term. Our R is our ratio. That means we're going up by 3. That, then our number of terms is 8. This is the sum of the first eight terms. We subtract one, and then we've got r minus one. Our ratio, again, we said was three, so that'll be three minus one. So what we end up with is always it's going to be a big number. Three to the eighth power is 65, 61, minus one, all over two, which is five times 65, 60, all over two, which ends up being 16,400. Here's our second example. We are going to find the sum of the first eight terms with our first term being 64 and our common ratio being a quarter. So we use our Sn formula, which is T1 times R to the N minus one, all over R minus one. And that means that our first term is 64. Our ratio this time is a quarter, and here's where things get a little hectic, I guess. Um, and that's all raised to the eighth power minus one, and then we get a quarter minus one. So this is where people freak out because they see fractions. Well, we have to work with fractions anyway, so we're just going to go with it. A quarter raised to the eighth power is 1 over 65,536. And that is minus 1. And on the bottom here, we get negative 3 quarters because that's what 1 quarter minus 1 is. So in order to add these two things in the brackets, you need a common denominator. That common denominator will be 65,000. 536. That means this whole number, whole number one, is 65,536. And that's all still divided by negative three quarters. So the next thing that we'll do is add the fractions. So we have one minus that. So we end up with negative 65,535 divided by 65,536. Now, when we're dividing by negative three quarters, that's dividing by a fraction, so we can multiply by the reciprocal. That's negative four thirds. And now, the thing that we, we need to do is just start simplifying. So, lucky for us, 64 goes into 65,536, and when it does, we are left with 1,024. And, we, and 3 does go into 65,535, and that is 21,845 times. That's still multiplied by 4, though. And the two negatives here both cancel each other out. So as a final answer, 4 goes into 1,024. So your final answer is 21,845, all divided by 256. And here's our final example. It says, determine the sum of the following geometric series. 1 64th plus 1 16th plus 1 quarter plus dot 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 plus 1024. So in order to use our Sn formula, which we know now to be T1 times R to the N minus 1 all over R minus 1, we need to know the first term, which we've got. We need to know our ratio, which we can figure out. Um, this thing keeps on getting 4 times bigger, so our ratio is 4. But we don't know our number of terms. So we're going to need to find our number of terms first. And then we can plug it into this equation. So our TN formula, if you remember, was T1 times R to the N minus 1. 
So it's 1,024 equals 1 over 64 times our ratio, which is 4, to the power of n minus 1. So 1,024 times 64, if I get rid of the 64, I just multiply it to the other side, equals 4 to the n minus 1. And that is 65,000. 536, which equals 4 to the n minus 1. Now the problem here is that you've never seen an exponent that has a variable in it. So what we need to do is write this left hand side so it has the same base as the right hand side. So we're going to use some basic exponent laws that we've learned before. So this is 4 to the 8th power and that equals 4 to the n minus 1. Well if we have the same base here that means that these exponents must also be equal. So 8 equals n minus 1. That means n equals 9. So we have 9 terms. So now that we know we have 9 terms, we have sum of the first 9 terms. Equals our first term, which is 1 over 64. Our common ratio, which is 4. Our number of terms is 9 minus 1. All over 4 minus 1. So this is 1 over 64. And 4 to the ninth power is... 262,144. Now to make this a little bit easier on you, because we have 164th out in front here, we can just move that 64 down to the bottom of the fraction. So we get 64 times 3 on the bottom, and we get 262143 on the top. This number on the top is divisible by 3, so in the end we end up with a final number of 87,381 divided by 64. So in summary, a geometric series is a list of numbers separated by positive or negative signs in which each term is found by multiplying the previous term by a common ratio which could be a whole number or a fraction. And the sum of a geometric series can be found by using the following formula. Sn equals t1, your first term, multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1, all divided by r minus 1. And you may need to use the TN formula for geometric sequences as well. So that is TN equals T1 times R to the N minus 1. So the big thing here that probably is going to cause you the most headaches is fractions. You just got to remember your fraction rules. Go from there and just try and simplify your final answer as good as you can. So our assignment is on pages 53 to 57. Good luck and we'll see you tomorrow.